Did get that from Family Guy. <laughs> Hello! Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If we haven't met already, hello, hi, the name's Quinn. It's very nice to meet you. If this is the first time that we've actually met, I'm so sorry. Yes, it is usually like that here on this channel. We're fun. Keep it fun. Keep it light. I don't have any script or anything. We just kind of go off the dome. Today, I'm going to be breaking down this week's budget here for you guys. Over on my Patreon, I, <laughs> I wrote out how much money I spent last week was not great. It was not a good week for me last week. A lot of bills that finally came out that past week as well as had a lot of fancy dinners last week that I did not budget for. So <laughs> we're fine. We're fine though. We're okay. On top of that, news for celebration, you guys. Your girl got a job. She got a full time job. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for all your prayers and all like the good vibes that you sent out. It worked. It worked. I got a job. I'm, I'm so excited. I start next week. So next week you should have a little update for me of me talking about what it's been like working again. Because <laughs> right now I have no idea how I'm going to handle it. I'll be honest. It's a corporate job. I'm not used to trying to act super professional, especially recently. <laughs> but without further ado, let's just get into the video before I ramble into this intro for way too long. So grab for yourself a tasty snack or a lovely beverage. I got my watered down iced coffee because I take forever to drink things now. Is this what it's like getting old? You forget about your coffee until it's cold? Something, something, something mold. Poetry. And let's just get right into the video. Okay, so getting right into everything here. Right here is my bullet journal. You guys know, you guys love it. It is this ding bat journal right here. Ta-da! And then my pen as well that we all love. This Pilot G2.05. Yes, and my very crusty looking nails. It's fine. Okay, so getting into our spread. How I like to have everything all laid out is here on the left with my to-dos, my little week to-dos, everything that's coming up. And then here on the right, my cash envelopes, all of the money that's coming up and that's coming. So, yes. Um, hello. Hello. I need you to not be on the counter while I'm doing this. Thank you. Okay, once again, doing a little zoom in here so you guys can see what I'm writing. All right, so not that this is a whole lot better. It's just a crop. So, the unemployment, I got paid from unemployment again. This time, I... I don't know if I just haven't done this before in the past. I guess I haven't. But I checked that I wanted some of the like federal income tax to be taken out this time. So I only got, I say only, like this isn't a lot of money. It's a good amount of money for, especially for me right now, uh, $1,410 here. So once again, I'm going to put all that money into my savings account. Um, Brian and I are talking more about exactly how we want to do our budget. The idea that I had before might change a little bit. We've been talking about like budgeting off of our income and then any time that we're a little bit under because it looks like our income itself is going to be a little bit tight for the time being to then use dip into our savings account, which is something that I've done before, so it'll be fine, but I, I don't know. We're going to be talking it out some more, just really just refining the details. I'll keep you guys in the loop about what's happening. And then the bills that I have coming up, my car insurance, which is, how much is that? $170. And then some subscriptions that are going to be coming out. So in total, that is going to be $220 there. So that's that for that, everything coming out. Um, oh my gosh, I didn't write it down. <laughs> Weekly spending. I was like, this looks smaller than usual. <laughs> okay, so weekly spending, we're going to put gas at $70. Food, I'm going to definitely start, we're going to definitely start um, meal prepping as much as we can now that Brian's working and he is, we're, I mean we're both going to be working, but he's working currently and he needs lunches and so far he's been like buying his lunch every day, so that's been definitely kind of rough. Um, so I'm going to try to keep everything under the $120 for grocery shopping and we'll just try to do a, as much as we can eating at home and making our own meals. 
So that's what's gonna be food. Once I get like a solid meal prep plan going on, I'll let you guys know if you guys wanna see. Um, gas, food, and then toiletries, is still gonna be just the $10. So that gives us a total of $200 there for weekly spending. Um, again, gas, still not fully sure how much we're going to be spending a week on gas because right now it's just him driving and then next week is when I start driving every day again. So that's just an estimation, a good like idea of what I think we'll be spending a week on gas for the both of us because of all the driving around that we're going to have to do, but yes. Looking at our income, we're definitely going to need to like crack down a lot more on the spending that we do. Really making sure that we are nice and tight on our budget. I'm so excited to get back into being tight on a budget. Um, but yes, that's that. That's that for that. Exciting stuff. Woo! Okay, so that's going to do it for this week's budget video here for you guys. I hope you enjoyed. So some of the things that Brian and I are talking about in terms of our budget is, like I was saying before, before I was thinking like pay off the bills with the like savings that I have, not necessarily savings, but the the pile of unemployment that I haven't been spending a lot on recently. Um, so pay bills with that and then come in with our income. But then that would mean that once my unemployment's gone, which would be gone in essentially like two months, uh, we would have to budget off of our income and it would change a lot and like, our income so far is looking really tight, so instead to budget based off of our income and then fulfill any holes with some of that unemployment back end stuff. If that makes sense, I think it makes sense. In my mind, it makes sense. On top of that, Brian and I are also talking about just having him sign on underneath my account that I have with USAA already. Because I have my car insurance through USAA. USAA is pretty good banking. If anyone's curious, I got my USAA account Oh goodness, how old was I? I was like 15 or something. I have so many members of my family, though me not personally, like I wasn't in the army or any, any kind of like armed forces, just so many members of my family were in there and they're still in there, they're still serving, they're still fantastic, I love them. So that's how I was able to sign up with USAA. So we're thinking about just having him sign up with me, have his direct deposit go onto the account that I already have. Um, same thing, cause then already half of the bills that are already coming out, which are my bills, which are like the bigger bills, uh, besides the rents, are already coming out of my account. So it'd be easier. It would honestly be easier and we'd have some good benefits through USA. So little ideas, still probably gonna give him that like cash app card as like his allowance. <laughs> it's still weird to say like he gets an allowance. I don't know if there's like a better term for it, but that's essentially what it is, especially since like, shopping is his stress relieving tool like if he gets tr triggered by stress he goes and he shops whereas i get triggered by stress i don't know what i do i have like an internal meltdown i guess <laughs> i don't shop that much i eat that's what it is i eat that's my that's my trigger <laughs> that's what i do so we're probably gonna do that cash app thing still get that little card for him to spend with and not have to feel like it's impeding on like Anything else, don't have to be worried about him spending like any kind of bills, money on some fancy clothes. <laughs> he likes like really good quality outdoor gear clothing or just like outdoor gear in general. And so usually that comes with like a pretty good price tag, warranted price tag because these things last forever. But still it's like, and he has like an outdoor job right now, so it's like on one hand, it's kind of like he needs it, slash he wants it, slash do we need it, slash I know he still wants it. So being able to really crack down on that is good. Talking about money really does stress him out. So we had to have like a recent talk of just like a very stressful talk of talking about money with him. So got that out of the way. I think we're pretty good and we're on the same page. So everything is looking pretty good. We just have to sign them up underneath my account. Social security office locally is still closed. So I haven't been able to go in and change my last name legally yet. What I could do is send in all my documents, but I can't send in copies. I have to send in the originals. I have to mail it in. So I basically have to relinquish my birth certificate, my driver's license, my current social security card, and put that in the mail and trust that it gets to them and that I get it back. <laughs> Which I'm like, mm, not 
very trusting of that system. Not that I don't trust our postal service, I just don't trust our postal service. <laughs> so it's like not the most comfortable thing, especially when I'm starting jobs and driving. Like I need those, I need those things myself. Still waiting to be able to change my last name legally on everything, so my bank account is still underneath my maiden name. So, yeah, the thing that we were waiting on, I wanted to have my last name changed before getting a joint bank account because I was like, oh, by the time we have to go back in and change last name, so there'll be a whole bunch more paperwork, all this other stuff. I'm not supposed to have the last name already there, but now it's like that's not happening. <laughs> it's gonna take a while till that happens again, so I might as well just have them underneath my account that I already have. Yeah, that's basically gonna do that. I'm, pretty so I'm gonna be so excited to be like, yo, I got my first paycheck. That's gonna be great. I'm really excited for that, so stay tuned keep here in the loop with everything going on ah oh, i love it i love you guys you guys are great i love just talking to you guys because i don't get interrupted <laughs> so to keep the good energy up here is today's dagu of the week <sighs> Ding. look at her face oh my gosh look at this dog look at this wonder woman oh my goodness you know you know that she makes every single person smile when they see her. Oh dear lordy. I could be your hero, baby. I could kiss away the pain out all. If you want to see your little quarantine pet featured in next week's video, be sure to DM me pictures over on Instagram. And you know, they could be right here where my face is right now. Let's see, what pet have I not gotten yet? I don't think I've gotten a bird. I might have. No, I don't think I've gotten a bird. So if you have a bird and you want to like send me cool pictures or even videos of them doing like cool bird stuff, send them to me. I love it. We'll share it. We'll share it with the world. Bring on the good cheer. If you guys like this video, be sure to give it a like. If you want to see more of my face and see me trying to conquer the human race, be sure to subscribe. You can find me at all of my social media over at Quinn Kalen. We can chat. Dear me, we can become best friends. Send me coffee memes because honestly, like any memes related to coffee is too relatable. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I love and appreciate you guys oh so very much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! I could be a hero, baby. I could kiss with the pain. No, no. You guys want to hear my Shakira impression? And goes, little, 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 that was awful. Little, 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 and you see, say it again. Little, 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 tell me one more time. Lost in my eyes, ding, 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 